serious. From your father. Apparently, your school reports are pretty dismal. The boys have flu, Uncle, and... I'm very surprised, Julian, to learn that your maths and physics leave a lot to be desired. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, sorry, uh, I mean... If you intend to go in for science, you... He wants to be a painter. A painter? You mean you wish to paint houses and such? No, paintings. You mean pictures that hang on walls? Well, yes. My dear fellow, you need an education essential if you're to be a physicist. Oh, but, Uncle, I don't want to be a physicist. The only one who appears to know what she's doing at school is Anne. Sorry. You apparently are interested in chemistry and are rather good at it. Oh, yes, it's just like cooking. All those things bubbling away in test tubes. <coughs> hmm. And as for Dick, has brains but makes no real effort. So, your father has suggested that I engage a tutor for a few weeks to come here and bring you all up to scratch. Does... does that include me? Certainly, Georgina. You're well ahead in the world of dogs, but sadly behind in all other branches of education. I will ask your mother to put it into motion, advertise and so on. A good science man is what we need. I hope Daddy chose the right kind of tutor. Not some old buddy, Daddy. George and Anne, this is Mr. Roman. Hello. How do you do? How do you do? But I thought um, I understood there to be an equal division of the sexes two boys and two girls. That's right. George is a girl. Her name's Georgina. Oh, very pretty name. I don't like it. Really? How amusing. Nothing was said to me about a dog. That's Tim. Shake hands with Mr. Roman. Mm. He doesn't like you. Oh, well. It's mutual. I, I don't care for dogs. I was bitten once rather badly. Uh, shall we go? All aboard! Ancient place, isn't it? Yes, it's Kirin Farm. Uh, who lives there? Mr. and Mrs. Sanders. They're old and don't farm much now. Sometimes they take in holiday people. Really? It used to belong to Mother. It looks very interesting. Can we go there, George? Of course we can. They're nice people. The train was a little late, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. But here we are. Well, welcome, Mr. Rowland. Quint is waiting for you in his study. Oh, good. My back, too. Ah, oh, Mr. Rowland, how good of you to come. Coffee or tea, Mr. Rowland? Coffee would be most acceptable. Perfectly splendid to have a man of science about the place. <laughs> uh, might I make a telephone call later, do you think? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we found the right man in Mr. Rowland, George. Tim doesn't like him. Really? How odd. And well, he doesn't like Tim. Oh, there now. I'm sure they'll settle down together. I doubt it. George. No nonsense, please. It will be simply splendid for Daddy. Like mine's about the place. This is a very old place, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, ancient, my dear. It's ancient. And so be we. <laughs> These scones aren't ancient. They're super duper. <laughs> oh, Mrs. have been cooking this past hour or so. We do have guests coming. Oh, telephone call late morning. Would I take two gentlemen for a few weeks? Artists, they said. Artists? Yes. Wanting to do some painting roundabout. Gosh, I'd love to meet. Oh! Naughty dog. Look! I'm sorry. Timmy did it. He jumped at the cat and... Think nothing of it, my dear. Place is full of things like that. Panels sliding about here, there and everywhere. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, I do be very careful when I polish this one, because if I press too hard at the top, the panel swings open. Have you got enough light, my lovelies? Nothing there. Just a stone wall. Stand back, Dick. Let the rest of us have a turn. 
Sorry, I found a ridge on the stone and I pulled it and it came out and it was too heavy to hold. Well, I never. I'll have a go, Dick. No, this is my discovery. There. It's an old tobacco pouch. Just what you need, John. <laughs> <laughs> There's something inside. Oh. Oh, it's, it's an old rag. It's got writing on it. It's a map of some sort. It looks like Latin, but it's so faint. You're good at languages, Dick. Not Latin. I've only done that for one term. Hang on. I can read that. Via a culture, I think. That means, uh something hidden. But hold on. Via means a road or way, doesn't it? Yes. Gosh. A secret way? We must find someone who can read the rest. It may tell us where the way is. We could ask Mr. Rowland. Maybe he No. Ask Mr. Rowland what? Uh, uh, we, oh yes, we were just wondering whether you'd like to come for a walk, Mr. Rowland. Oh, splendid idea. What have you got there, Georgina? Come on, Timmy. <laughs> oh, must that dog come with us? Of course. We never go anywhere without Timmy. I see. Well, then I suppose we must try to get them together. Stupid animal. Uh, what can you expect from such an ugly mongrel? He's not ugly, and he's clever, and he's much nicer than you. I don't allow my pupils to be rude, Georgina. I can. You seem tired, Georgina. We shall take a break at eleven. <coughs> Stop all this noise. Dog. Take the brute out, Georgina. It has torn my trousers. Take the beast away or I shall go to your father. I'm not surprised you bit him, Tim. I would too if I were a dog. Out with you. Put the dog in the garden and come back here. I know Tim was wrong to bite him, but I can't blame him. That man makes me feel all prickly. There's something nasty about him. <laughs> now, tell me, how would you keep cool at a football match? Uh, I know. Stand next to a fan. <laughs> well done, Dick. Anne, would you take some tea to Uncle Quentin? Ah, oh, it's Anne with a welcome cup of tea. Uncle? Hmm? What are all these funny things? I'm working on a very special formula. These funny things give me certain reactions which I note down. What's reactions? I can't tell you that. It's all very secret. Very secret indeed. Yes. You're right. Well, via oculta means hidden path or secret way. <sighs> it's difficult to read. Uh, now, these eight rectangles represent eight wooden panels or boards. Ah, yes. A room facing east. A stone floor. Possibly a cupboard. Very interesting. And you say you found this at Kirin Farm? Yes. We must go there again and look round. Yes, I shall come with you. I may be able to help. about 
out in the dark. What's on earth? That dog is mad. He has bitten me before, and now, again, he bites. I thought we had a burglar in the house. Uh, well, so did I. I heard a noise, came down, the dog appeared and attacked me. Georgina, really, this is too bad. Father, I... And do I understand this is not the first time Timothy has bitten your tutor? The dog was hidden under the table during class and attacked me. Disgraceful, Georgina. You shall both be punished. I would be most grateful if the dog could be kept outside. Of course, you shall have your wish. Daddy! Timothy is not to be allowed in the house. He's to stay in his kennel. It's not fair. You haven't heard my side. I cannot have Mr. Rowland upset in this way. Go to bed now. And don't let me see the dog in the house again till I give permission. What on earth that noise could have been. <laughs> George, please come with us. It'll be such fun searching for the secret way. No, Mr. Rowland will be there and I can't bear even to look at him now. Start off, will you? I will see you there. If only George didn't get into such states. Well, I've heard tell of the secret way, but it's been lost for years, if, if indeed it ever existed. Which way does the house face, Mrs Sanders? Uh, is it north? That's right, yeah. Uh, so the kitchen faces east? It do. Well, you can look to your heart's content, but I doubt you'll find anything. Well, it's certainly got a stone floor. Is there anywhere with only eight panels? Hello there. My name's Thomas and this is Wilton. We're staying here. The artists! Oh, great. Uh, this is Anne, my sister, and this is my brother, Dick. Uh, have you been doing much painting? Uh, no, actually not yet. Uh, what are you looking for? We're looking for sliding panels. We found one in the hall. Sounds exciting. We'll give you a hand. Thanks. I'm hoping to be an artist myself. Really? Yes, I'm into cubism at the moment. Cubism? Yes. I tried expressionism, but frankly, I find the modern school much more exciting. What do you think? Uh, oh, I uh, hardly think of it at all. Uh, very solid, these panels, aren't they? Hello there. Who are your friends, children? Please introduce me. None of the panels moved at all. It was pretty disappointing, really. But we met the artist, George. I'm going to show them my work. I think I saw them on my walk. One was very big, and the other had glasses. Sounds like them. They were with Mr. Rowland. It couldn't have been them. Mr. Rowland didn't know them. But one of them was carrying an easel. What a shame we didn't find the panels. Still, I was very pleased to meet your artist friends. Sleep for ages. Let's get you warm. <sighs> Come on, Timmy. I have to take you outside again. He's still dry now. Towel. I found it in my study this morning. It was not there last evening. 
It is covered with dog hairs. Georgina. Oh, I... Something very serious has happened. Test tubes and apparatus on my workbench have been broken and three pages from my notebook. Three of the most important pages are missing. Georgina, you wouldn't. You were in my study last night? Yes, Daddy. I brought him in to get him drier. You know you're not allowed in my study without my permission. And certainly never that dog. Come with me. You're the only room with a fire. Quentin, I am sure Georgina would... Georgina, you... tell me on your honour that you knew nothing of these breakages and the theft of the pages. I know nothing of them. Who would have done such a thing? When I went to bed at 11 o'clock last night, everything was in order. I checked over those three pages very carefully. It was the last thing I did when I left the room. I was in here from one o'clock until six. So they must have been taken between 11 and one. Was the window fastened? Securely as usual. Who could have taken them? No one knew that those three pages were so important. Mr. Rowland probably knew. Rowland? Don't be absurd, he's a very decent man. Francis, this thief knew what he was up to. Broken apparatus means that I can't continue with my research until I set it up again. Weeks of work. Hey. What? Nothing. Georgina, not only did you come into my study without my permission, but you brought the dog in against my wishes. You shall spend the rest of the day in your room. If Timmy had been in the house, this wouldn't have happened. He'd have heard the thief and barked. The thief must have been in the house already, because if he came from outside, well, Timmy would have barked out there. Well, none of us took the papers. Which leaves Mr. Rowland. But he can't be a thief. He wanted Timmy out of the house. Let's search his room. <laughs> can't do that. He's holed up there with his cold. If he's got the papers, he'll want to get rid of them. Those artists. He pretended he didn't know them, but George saw them together. OK, I'll keep an eye on him. If he leaves the house, I'll follow him. But it's still raining. He'll hardly go out just now. George, about those panels in the study. Eight, you said. And there's a stone floor under the carpet. Tomorrow. Julian, let's go while we've got the chance. All right, but we mustn't go far. I think it goes in the direction of Kieran Farm. Mother's family own both places. And this passage joins them. We don't know that for sure. Well, there's only one way to find out. Come on. All right, but I think Anne should stay here in case anything goes wrong. There's a ferry leaves Southampton for France tomorrow morning at 8. Be on it. You will be met and directed on your way. <gasps> and what about you? I'm keeping to my bed for a day or two, this wretched weather. I will see you in two days' time at the rendezvous. Good luck! <laughs> it's a stiff climb. Well, we've come this far, we might as well try. Peter has done quite well, eh? Quite an actor. Properly fools the brilliant scientist. <laughs> so let's get packing. There's plenty of time. 
I think I will make some coffee before we start. <laughs> Been in here. Your uh, burger. Benton, uh, uh, in here. Give me that old man. Uh, 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 Quickly, come on. We're being followed. Jimmy, you go on. I'll wait here with Timmy. Keep them off. We can't leave you. We must get the papers to Daddy. Go on. Child. Come on. What's going on? I heard Timmy bark. Where's George? Just no time for explanations. We've got to get help. Georgina? Uncle, it's us! What in the world? I think an explanation is called for. This is the explanation. George, I think you should hand them over. Are these your missing papers, Daddy? Uncle, where's Mr. Rowland? Um, I think in his room, nursing a cold. straight away that Mr. Rowland was bad. He's a brave, good dog, Georgina, and you're a very brave and sensible girl. I grossly misjudged that man, and as a consequence, treated you in a harsh, unjust fashion. Can you forgive me? Of course, Daddy. You work so hard, you don't notice people properly. Oh, dear. I shall have to reform. George, are you coming swimming? Off you go. And please, no more secret passages for a while. <laughs> 